Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Today, we're looking at Condemn for the Crusader, which is really high utility speed farm. We're going to get double DBs because we're going to take the Sages set. We're going to also work in Canes on the Rift Guardian, so we're going to get 25% extra keys. If DBs don't float your boat, then you can get tons of extra gems or extra gold. Just depends on the particular spec that you want to run. So we'll go through all the options. 800 Paragon footage in the background. It's a lot of fun to play. It's going to be a nice change from Fist of Heavens. Fist of Heavens may well be a bit quicker on the T16s because it does have better coverage. But you've got to ask yourself, do you want the extra gems? Do you want the extra keys? Do you want the extra DBs? And if so, obviously this is something that you can set up. Now, before we do jump in and take a look, Welcome to anybody who's new to the channel. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always guys, thumbs up brightens my day. But let's jump in and take a look at Condemn. Now, this is gonna be quite good for T16 because it is just so flexible. Now, we're gonna take five pieces of the Condemn set, or a con set, I should say. We're gonna obviously have to have a rogue in the cube. We're gonna stuff the traditional Condemn weapons in the cube, so the sword and the shield. I'm gonna take the Norval set. So let's just go through the bonuses. Now, the two piece of a Khan, we basically get resource cost reduction of 50% whilst we have Akrat's Champion up. Obviously, super handy. Condemn does use a lot of resource, so that is quite good. Two piece, we get cooldown reduction on Akrat's Champion of 50%. Again, godly for keeping this up. The figure for perma uptime is about 56, 57%, something like that. We do also have the Zodiac in this spec, so that's why we can play this with the reduced cooldown here. But obviously if you can get this a little bit higher, then so much the better. But I found 50% cooldown was absolutely fine with the Zodiac. So Zodiac will basically, whenever we hit with Condemn, it'll take one second off our skill cooldowns. We do have quite a few on cooldown, but don't worry, there's enough procs into Akrats for perma uptime. Six piece, we get 2000% damage when Akrats is up, so if this drops, we don't do any damage because that multiplier is lost and we will also get 50% damage reduction. Don't care about that because it's, as always guys, Boon of the Horde, Gold Wrap and Avarice Band. So we will be immortal, we've just got to kill that first enemy. Now sometimes with Gold Wrap you can be a little squishy, but the way Akrats works with the rune you get with Iron Skin for extra damage reduction, you'll probably survive a blast anyway. Uh, so it is rare that you'll proc. And even if you do, as soon as you press Akrats you get another cheat death anyway. So. All in all, it's very, very smooth for the T16s. Now, Flail of the Charge and the Shield of the Steed, which is always a mouthful to say. This has been changed. We get 400% damage for five seconds after hopping off the pony. So all we need to do is hop off this every five seconds and the Condemns are super juiced. Now, we do get cooldown reduction. Every time we kill something, we get one second. Obviously, with Zodiac as well, it pretty much means perma horsey. Uh, so it is very nice for getting around the map, particularly if you get one of those cruddy tile sets, uh, which is pretty good. Now, Condemn basically works off Blade of Prophecy, so we get this huge multiplier, and it also gives extra explosions. Friday's Wrath, we basically take the cooldown off Condemn, so we can insta-cast it. Uh, again, another multiplier, but it costs 40 Wrath, so it is a little bit, a little bit thirsty. Uh, Abra Span for Pickup Radius, we've covered, and we're going to do Bane of the Trapped for more damage. Wreath of Lightning to make us move faster, sub and powerful if you need the extra extra hit on the elites, but at 800 Paragon with this kind of gear, absolutely no problem. And yeah, Boon of the Horde is the other legendary gem. Obviously Nemesis, we want to spawn elites for the DBs. You want holy damage here, holy damage on your amulet if you can, but you know, double crit and a socket will be absolutely fine. Condemn damage can go on the chest plate. Condemn damage can also go on the shoulders. I just haven't rolled it because we don't need it. Uh, you know, we are powerful enough to crunch T16 uh, with 800 Paragon anyway. But obviously it would be an extra bit of damage. So that'd be quite a nice roll to take. I'd, I'd try and do that roll before swapping off Wreath of Lightning. The move speed is super handy. Now, I think that pretty much covers the gear. Now, let's say we're going for DBs here. So we've obviously got the Sage, Hat and, and Shoes on. So we get a little bit of extra strength, vitality, dex, all that kind of stuff. But we get double DBs. Every time we melt an elite, we get twice as many DBs. Now, if DBs aren't your thing, let's say you're not short on them, you're short on gems, you just basically pop the illusory boots in and the broken crown on. This means you can move through enemies unhindered and you now get extra gems, uh, which is pretty good. You could, in theory, go for the Oryx and then maybe put the Vigilante belt here and go for Gold Wrap here. You might be a little hard pressed on your cooldown figure here. You'd probably need like perfect CDR everywhere. 
to make that work. But again, that's another possibility if you're looking for gold. But early on in the season, DB is obviously very important for upgrading, so we go for those. Now, we play the Rift completely as normal. When we do get to the Guardian, we basically open up the inventory and we just right click on these three items and sub them in. Now, oh, we've got the cube open. That's no good. Let's try that again. So the Guardian spawns, we basically, we get the canes on. So we get extra attack speed. The experience obviously doesn't matter. We do get a 25% chance for an extra key. That's an individual roll on each key, which is obviously pretty good. And we also sub in the convention. Now, it always starts on fire. It runs in alphabetical order. And then second one is holy. So holy is our damage. So we do blast the boss pretty quick. Uh, looking at the skills, we've got Condemn Unleashed. This is basically uh, just for the insta you know, damage. The Vacuum Rune does suck stuff, but it takes a bit of a wind up before the explosion. So I just like this. So right click is Destruction. Justice, Sword of Justice. I can't really think of anything to go in here, but this does provide a little bit of move speed. So you can chuck one of these hammers out, uh, or a sword, I guess it is, and it'll do a little bit of extra damage for you. But you know, you could do you could do provoke and try and fill up your wrath, but I didn't really find wrath to be too much of a problem. Uh, Iron Skin Flash, 50% damage reduction, handy if you don't have your goals wrap bonus up, but it's really here uh, for the move speed. So 60% for five seconds, you take loads of hits because you're close range, so you do get this up quite a bit. Uh, Akrat's Champion, now I've actually gone for Embodiment of Power just to help with the Wrath. You can swap over to Profit for that cheat death as we were, uh, as we were talking about uh, at the start of the, uh, start of the video, but... I did find this was better but if you're struggling for toughness you know obviously you can go for this but you've got the gold wrap so really embodiment of power is good and it just means loads of wrath the whole way uh laws of valor again a similar thing we've got this here for the wrath reduction if you do find yourself running a little dry you can pop this and it gives you 50 percent damage well, not damage reduction resource cost reduction for five seconds laws of hope wings of angels another good shout this is like illusory boots you get move speed which is pretty good um other than that, I probably wouldn't consider anything else. We've got Steed Charge, un, uh, Endurance. This is here for super lengthy pony. Uh, increases the duration up to three seconds. So again, if we get a bad map, we can speed through it pretty quick. Uh, we've got Heavenly Strength, because we've got the two-handed weapon, we have to take this. We've got Finery. This scales super well for the Crusader. 1.5% strength for every gem socketed. That's why our damage figure is so nutty crazy, because we've actually got a shield with a socket. Uh, indestructible again something can go wrong at the start of the rift so kind of handy to have and long arm of the law just to buff up this a little bit uh, again you could take holy cause here for extra damage no problem on that one uh, but as i say we seem to be we seem to be fairly okay you could also take uh, righteousness again for some more wrath and then possibly look to swap this on to wing of angels just for a bit more move speed so you know this is this is kind of what i've played in the footage so i do like presenting the builds like that but again you know, there's probably a few things you could do to make this a little quicker. Uh, in terms of rotation, jump into the rift. You basically want to pop your Accurate's Champion because obviously you don't do any damage without that. You then pony up to something, hop off the pony by pressing Iron Skin for that damage reduction so you don't proc. And then you basically just condemn blast everything, uh, pick up the DBs, get on the horse, off you go. And then the only thing you need to remember to do, obviously, is to do your hot swap. So obviously, Got the cube open again. So obviously it looks like this during the rift, and then as soon as you hit the guardian, bang, 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 takes only like a fraction of a second to do it. Extra 25 keys, absolutely 100% worth it for me. Uh, and it is pretty nice. Let's say we've got other options that we can take. So, you know, the, it's flexible. It's, it's gonna be really good for resource. And Condemn, I've always found to be really fun to play. It's always been, uh, been one of my favorite builds, so. Yeah, it's going to be good for Season 22 if you're rolling Crusader. You've got some really good T16 options. I think this is solid. I probably would play this. Uh, one, for variety, and two, just for its super flexibility. But that's it, guys. Season 22. Let's hope it's starting soon. Not sure when this video will come out, but, uh, but yeah, really excited for it. So let's go. As always, come see me on Twitch. Come say hello. Uh, other than that, I've been the Filter Casual. I'm going to go read all these messages that necroborg has been sending me in this video. Um, hopefully it's tactical plans for this season, but enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Peace. Some days there's no one in there Who loves me like you used to Some days I'm not myself There's no one I can turn to I 
Oh, uh-huh. 